<laughs> what's up? I know that you want to have fun. But you're here because you want to experience this moment in a deep, intimate, like fun fucking way. This is why you're here in this moment. And I want to chat with you a little bit about the hedonistic approach. Don't get lost on the word hedonist. And if you don't know it, it means just hang on. But approach to my existence that I've implemented different parts of the hedonist perspective into my existence for really more than 15 years. How you can begin to do that. And um, what I actually mean when I say the more you awaken, the more you play. First of all, the more we realize that we're not the body and mind, the more we're going to play. The more you awaken, the more you play. As long as you believe you're the body, fear, anxiety, stress, OCD, pain, misery, all of these things are going to exist. The more you step outside of your body into pure awareness so that you can see the body, the more you realize, fuck, that body is incredible. And it is a beautiful avatar that I've spawned in, that I've given life to, that I've animated. If you just picture a video game, when you're playing a video game, you're cruising around in that video game, and you're doing things in that little avatar, whatever character you're playing, that you would normally never do in real life. But that thing that you're calling real life isn't even real life, excuse me. The thing you're calling real life isn't even real life. The thing you're calling real life is actually just that. It's still a game. It's a play. It's an energetic dance that's happening. It's an energetic skit of sorts. And you are playing a character in that skit, in that movie, in that dance, in that play. You are a divine being playing a role, a character. When you believe that you are the character, you start to take shit way too seriously. And you start to experience the pain and attachments and association with that character. If I am this character, then I have attached to this person. You're mine. You're my girl. And, you know, have you ever said that? You're my kid. This is my life, my job. my. And all these attachments create all kinds of misery for yourself. And pure awareness is you're observing that this avatar, you're not attaching anything because it's not even that is not your real true self. This is part of the game you're playing. Anytime you feel depressed, it's because you have identified as that self and you want out of the movie, out of the game. The way that you step out of the game isn't by taking your taking the life of the avatar. It's not by quitting on your husband or wife or family. It's by realizing, fuck, that's not who I am. Now, I want to give you uh, something you can integrate, a hedonist perspective that you can integrate into this existence. No matter where you are, if you are in the place where you're like, I'm realizing that that's not what I am, that this is just the avatar, and I'm learning to have a lot of fun, you can so integrate these things. Or if you're still like, you're like, well, I am still stuck in a lot of misery and I have a lot of attachments, and I'm maybe I haven't fully realized yet that that's what I am. I still attach to things. I still believe that this is me. I still believe that the little life that I built isn't just a character in some sort of skit, but it's actually my existence. Then this, these little principles that I'm about to share with you can be integrated into your existence and really bless you. Like you'll, you'll be blissed out by them. First of all, discover what makes this character what is fun to the character you're playing? Discover what's fun for the character you're playing and then give your energy to that. Now, the more you step outside of the character, the more you have fun no matter what the fuck you're doing. But step as long as you believe that you are that little character or there's any sort of association or identity with that character, then find out what is fun for that character and then begin to pursue that. So this is a hedonist perspective. Hedonist is basically, hedonism is basically doing whatever I can do to have fun. Well, 
Find what's fun for you. So many people are stuck in dead-end jobs. They're stuck in careers they don't even want. They went through four years of school that they were told they had to go through, got that degree. They're not even, most of them aren't even using the degree, but even the ones that are now find themselves, they're stuck in paying off debt and doing all these things because they're stuck. They've just been going through this bullshit system that has ultimately not been beneficial or helpful in any way. And now you don't want to even be playing the character you're playing. You're hanging out with people that you don't even really enjoy. Their energy isn't even really something that is is appealing to you and you're doing that eight hours a day to offer a little paycheck you're you're selling out you're like a little sellout I, I tell people all the time whores are just basically somebody that works for money some of you give your mind some of you give your body some of you exchange energy in a lot of different ways but they're all prostituting themselves for something and uh, only when you're really doing something that you enjoy is it no longer prostitution so I ask you the job that you do would you go to that job if you were not making money, if you weren't exchanging your energy for that money, money's not even fucking real anyway. But if you weren't, if you weren't getting paid at the end of the day or at the end of the week or at the end of the month, would you still go? And if the answer is not yes, then why are you going? Really, is it just about the money? I've got to survive. I'm a survivor. No, really, is it? Uh... Because if that is really what you're doing, I'd encourage you to try living a homeless life for a little while and just enjoy the moment you're in. And get the, man, get out of this headspace that is survivor mode. That is full on identity as the avatar. I have fully believed I am this character and this character has to survive. Your character is dying because of the mentality that you have, you know. Whenever you stand in that position of this is me and I've got to survive, that is one quick way to make sure you age and die. To begin reversing the aging process, you have to relax. That is a stressful existence. You have to be able to relax. The stress that I incorporate into my body is the stress needed to actually expand consciousness, to expand the body, the form, and to play in it on purpose so that I can reverse aging, so that I can experience this body for longer periods of time, longevity, so on and so forth. But those sorts of things are completely different because I'm actually willfully doing them. I'll talk about these things, these stressors later that are really important for your physical form, for the avatar. But here's the deal. Find out what, you're, what you have fun doing and then do those things. Give your energy to them. Explore those things. For me, I I personally, I mean, I have fun doing anything. and um, But there are things that I really enjoy. Like, I really enjoy breathing. Because it activates all these, it activates euphoria. And just um, whenever I intentionally breathe, I get so high. This body gets really high. But my mind and brain has been drained to do this, to experience this. Anytime, anytime I take an intentional breath, my body really, it's like, um, you know, it's just a powerful, um, beautiful, intense euphoria. And this is something that I've developed over the years because I began, I was chasing and giving all my energy to experiencing this presence, this high, this joy, this, this effortless uh, existence and the feel how, how good could my body feel. And, and so you can, you know, you can experience this too, but find out what your body enjoys and that's going to shift and change quite a bit. In order to really take the lid off, the cap off, this is a principle you must, you must adapt. In order to take the cap off, finding to find out, in other words, to find out what your body, what that avatar enjoys, you have to take the cap off. In other words, you have to remove, strip away the rules and the laws. So get with the people that your family, your friends, the people that you're really close with and start to ask yourself. So you guys should, should watch this together and then just ask your talk about it. Open up some dialogue and ask is if I strip away this law, this rule not because I'm going to do it, but for the express purpose of opening myself up to a new expression. How will this affect you? And are you willing to also strip away these things, 
pull the ceiling back, if you will, that we've that we've enclosed ourselves with to begin to explore uh, joy and bliss and fun in other ways. Are we willing to start pulling back the veil, stripping back the veil, you know, shedding the things that we've been hiding behind? These are important questions to ask because you can say, I'm going to go pursue my fun, but what you think is fun is still hidden out. It's like hiding behind this, this veil, behind this fig bush, if you will, this fig leaf, behind the, the, the little life that you've built for yourself. You can only go but so far in those four walls, within those four walls. You can only expand but so far within those four walls before eventually you begin to break down the four walls. Those four walls are the little life you've built for yourself. And so just know this, the more that you pursue and you integrate hedonist perspective, hedonist principles, and the more that you awaken to your, to your true self, the more that consciousness, even in the avatar, is expanding. To, to the degree that it eventually will blow the lid off the little life you built for yourself and all the rules and laws associated with that little life. And it'll blow down the walls. And if you don't have these conversations with the people in your life, then they ultimately will be affected and impacted. You can talk to all the people in my life. They're like, holy shit, like we don't even know what to do half the time. But we have been able to at least have the conversations. Some of these conversations, and this is the last thing I'm going to leave you with, can look like this. Do you want to have fun? I love you enough. I want you to experience fun and bliss. And I don't necessarily need to know what that's going to look like right now. But let's keep the channel of communication wide open. And do you love me enough to say, I'm giving you permission, if you will, the freedom, the verbal consent to explore your bliss, to explore life and the way and give your energy to things that bring you bliss and joy and satisfaction. And then we're going to continually keep the, the ch uh, channel of communication open so that we can continue to adapt and talk about these things. That is the right way to begin integrating some of these hedonist pr pr uh, principles. I hope, uh, yeah, man, I hope this helps. Check out the next video on the list. I love you. Drop whatever questions and comments you have below. If you haven't already subscribed, hit me up. Subscribe and, uh, and come journey with me in these daily trips.